What's up? So we're in a different area of my home today. I just felt like switching it up and this is our living room. And I, I, I usually, let me rephrase, I film facing like the other way, but I was like, I don't feel like sitting on the floor today. I know you guys are surprised because I usually do sit on the floor, but here we are. So I placed an order during the Sephora sale, two separate orders. One of them is not in yet, but it's a shampoo, it's hair stuff, like a shampoo and stuff. If you remind me, I will talk about it at the end of the video. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember. That I don't need to show you in person anyway, because it's not like you'd see me shampooing my hair, but everything else, like all the makeup -y things came in. And if you saw my Sephora video where I shared my recommendations, but then also my wish list, some of those wish list items were sold out by the time I checked out. <laughs> and that's on me. And like one of them, I think the Tower 28 mascara I wanted to repurchase. I thought it was in my cart when I checked out like the first day. And I guess it wasn't. So when I went back by the last day of the sale, of course it was sold out. And that's when I placed my like final order and I never got a replacement of that mascara. Anyway, I'm not bitter about it at all. I have almost enough to do a full face, but there are a couple like pieces in my routine that'd be missing. So I grabbed a few things to use. So I'm just gonna throw on my SPF. This is that new Rose Ink Solar Power SPF 30 serum that I am enjoying, especially if you have drier skin. I feel like my skin is finally cleared up from all the issues I was having. And I, y'all, if you are using, okay, Jess, come on. If you are using the Lawless, forget the filler stuff, and you start noticing weird breakouts around your mouth, it might be that. I, I, I don't know that I'm ever gonna know for sure that that's what it was, but I'm not the only one that has had that issue. And I don't think it's bound to happen to everyone. I just think it, some people are maybe more susceptible to getting like dermatitis, like a rash around the mouth. And I, I really think that's what it was. So I just wanted to share that because I feel like I have recommended that to so many of you guys because I loved it for months. But if that's causing anyone else any issues, I don't, I want to be, I want to share that maybe that's what my issue was. So those are probably going to go away and I'm so sad because I really loved them, but it is what it is. It's just not worth it, obviously. Yeah, this I just feel like is really nice and like, I feel like I'm so far from the camera. But yeah, I need to get a new lens. So the lens I'm using, I can't zoom on. So I would have to, I guess I can bring you closer. So close, hold on. I'm in the market for a new, not a new lens, because I love this one. This is a new one, but one that's a little more, just more suitable for like makeup videos like this. Okay, anyway. So one of the things in the haul is the Sephora Lip Sleeping Mask. So this one's vanilla. I tried this on when I first opened the box this morning and it is like a clear, more. it's more glossy, I think, than I anticipated. I was picturing something a little thicker I'm not mad about it. It's just, I'm just reporting it. <laughs> like when I hear lip sleeping mask, I will forever and ever think of the Laneige one. And that one is a little bit thicker. I love that stuff. I haven't used that in years. I don't think that ever gave me any issues anyway. Um, but this is vanilla. It definitely, it has a vanilla scent, but it's a little bit odd. And I actually pretty much love all vanilla scents. Like I am a big fan and this one does have an odd twist to it. I don't hate the smell, but it, it is odd. If you ever smell this, I think you'll know what I mean, but it, it, yeah, I just wanted to share that too, but it feels really good. It's not a sticky. It definitely feels like something I could go to sleep in and it would feel good. So I typically just use Aquaphor overnight anyway. This would be something I would use like right now when I'm getting ready or just throw it in my purse as my lip balm. Yeah, I think the packaging's cute. It did say, I, I noticed, made in France. Sounds so fancy, fancy. Oh, one other thing I got, uh, the Necessaire Body Lotion. I think I got this with, uh, like as a point perk. And you guys know, I love this. I recently did a sponsorship with Necessaire and this is one of my favorite products from them. So to get a travel size, I was like, Perfect, that is going straight into my travel bag. I love that stuff. So quickly, I'm gonna toss on foundation. Again, I didn't buy a new foundation. I feel like I've bought so many foundations lately. And so once the sale popped up, I literally was kind of combing through and I'm like, I've tried like all of these. <laughs> so I didn't buy a new one. So I'm just gonna use the Armani Luminous Silk foundation. This foundation I do like, like every time I've used it, I like the way my skin looks. Oh, you can really see it work its magic on that side where the light is coming in from the window, of course. I'm still not convinced it's worth the price tag because there's so many good foundations for so much cheaper. So that's why I like, I'll use it and I really like it. And if someone were like dying to spend that amount of money, I don't know, on a foundation, I would recommend it, but I just, I don't know. I'm not convinced it's worth the price tag. Also, I popped into my 
one-year-old's room to snag the hair ties, the like little tiny clear ones. She still didn't have enough hair to pull anything up, but it, it was like leftover stuff from Genevieve when she was little. And I forgot that they were in there and I was wanting to do a braid, just a simple everyday, you know, not very good at French braiding type braid. <laughs> And so I had my like regular black hair tie and it was so thick. I was like, okay, I need something a little daintier than that for this. But anyway, so yeah, that foundation, nothing new to report. I will say if you were dying to try it, cause maybe you've heard a lot of people recommend it, get this smaller one. This is such a good size. I feel like for what you need to really try something. I mean, I probably still won't use this up and I use the shade by the way, 4.75. Okay. I promise we're getting into the real haul. Okay, next thing that I bought during the sale is the Huda Beauty Glow Wish Concealer. So this is the Bright Light Sheer Concealer. So this, I'm assuming, is meant to be a little, you know, more sheer, hence the name. It says, Refreshed Glow, Long Wearing, Instantly Awakens. I hate guessing concealers. Somehow, I have grown really terrible at picking concealer shades, which is funny because it, it shouldn't be that hard. Um, also, question. I feel like most people nowadays will do their concealer here and here. I don't do my concealer out here anymore. I tried that for a while and I kind of liked the way it looked, but here's my thing. I have crow's feet and I feel like the second I put a bunch more product, and this is still gonna spread out to there, but the second I put a bunch more product there, it just settles in, it emphasizes. So I'm like, so I find it interesting. I'm like, is it just a, you know, if you've got perfect skin that it works, do you have more mature skin and you put it out there and you feel like it looks nice? Let me know your thoughts. Okay, wow. So it's definitely really, really thin and lightweight. That covered more than I expected it to. Like looking without and with, I mean, <laughs> and I felt like, you know how most concealers, because they are thicker, it takes a little bit of working, like I'll kind of spread it out and then I'm like, all right, I need to tap it in. Like there's always just that little bit excess product. This just looks really fresh. And I actually think the shade might be pretty good. I think it's maybe a little light, but it's so hard to tell. I've definitely learned, I don't want my concealer be, to be too terribly bright, but in this case, I feel like it's looking really nice. Yeah. What is the weather like by you guys? It is early May, obviously, and it is so gray and rainy, which I'm like, that's what I kind of expect in spring. I've been giggling because everyone I know here is like, oh, can't wait till it's warm. And I'm like, yeah, but I feel like this is, this is spring. Like <laughs> I kind of like it. I've grown in my <laughs> old age <laughs> to really appreciate these kind of chillier days where it's gray and it's rainy, but the plants are soaking it up. Like, I feel like we're all so ready to get through to like summer, but listen, I don't like 95 degree days. Okay. I like, <laughs> I think I prefer the slightly chilly weather. Now, would I like some sun? Yes, I would, I would love some sun. Thank you so much. But you know what I mean? I feel like we, do, we need to appreciate, we need to appreciate because we're going to miss this, these 50 degree days when it is, you know, 95 or negative 10. All right, back to the makeup. I'm sorry. So yeah, I think this is nice. You can see like, it's very, moisturizing, but not, it's not like sticky or emollient like some of those that are out there. I'm gonna be honest. I put this in my cart and took it out and kind of went back and forth as I thought about it because I was like, I don't know, a sheer concealer, I'm probably not gonna love, I won't use it enough. I'm really glad I bought this because again, for those really quick and easy days, I could picture myself using this with the Neutrogena, I'll pop a pic on the screen, the Neutrogena Serum Foundation. These two together would be so beautiful because that one really makes your skin look like skin, but it's slightly more perfected. This will cover anything else you got going on. And I feel like that is gonna be the freshest glowy face, you know? So anyway, I'm really happy that I ended up liking this. It's very lightweight, but it does still have a little bit of coverage. I'll probably want to set it, but we'll get there. So next thing I bought is the Sephora Tint and Volume Brow Gel. So I was trying a couple. I wanted to get their gloss, but that one, the shade I wanted sold out by the time I was ready to buy it um, because the Sephora collection was all 30% off. So this is just their micro brow product. I'm gonna wipe a little bit off because it looks very pigmented as I just wiped some off, yikes. Okay, yeah, I would. They had a good amount, if I'm remembering right, they had a good amount of shade options. Can you hear those birds? There's like a hundred that just suddenly appeared and they're all chirping. Oh, they're playing. Yeah, that definitely, this color is maybe too deep for me. This is shade 05, but I mean, it 
Oh, it's like way too dark, Jess. I might have to try to like brush through. I mean, it's fine, but like for my taste, that is definitely darker. So I would be, I feel like formula wise, it, w it was really easy to apply. Definitely wiped some off, but it was really easy to apply. It went really evenly, but I just feel like you gotta be careful about which shade you get. And if you're like me and you don't want a lot of color or pigment, just to be, you know, careful, I guess is my point. I'm just gonna kind of try to like brush through some of it. All right, we're just gonna call it. I think this one's darker than that, but I don't wanna apply more to this one and I can't get any more of this out. So we'll just see how it all, the cookie crumbles in a bit. <laughs> Stop looking at it, guys. <laughs> all right, all right. So um, let me throw on, well, I'm not gonna put on eyeshadow today, honestly, cause I'm just, I kinda wanna go for a really simple eye look cause I wanna do like a bigger wing. I say that, we're gonna see. So I'm literally just gonna grab this powder foundation. I've been doing this so much lately and just powdering my eye. <laughs> Cause it covers like anything you might need to cover if you've got like veining or whatever. It evens out the tone, it kind of sets it. So that has been my like most used trick this month is just throwing a bunch of powder foundation all over the eye and calling it a day for like eyeshadow. So the liner I have is the Danessa Myricks Line Work Paintbrush Fluid Eyeliner. I just felt in the mood to try a new liquid liner. So this has like this kind of pewter looking Packaging, is it a brush? Yes, it is a brush. Looks pretty black, but that it might need a few, we'll see kind of as it, yeah. Looks really nice, we're gonna see. So let me go grab, I just now realized, I wanna grab my liner and kind of tight line a bit before I dive in with something like that. All right, so we're gonna give it a whirl. I just tight lined with my pencil liner and then, and I can link the one I typically use below. Uh, all right, let's just try. It makes me so nervous to do liquid liner on camera. So just let that be known, okay? <laughs> Still, after all these years. I mean, that is super black. Feels really easy to use. Ooh, I knew I would do it. I typically prefer a um, felt tip brush, but a really good brush tip, I said that wrong, but you know what I mean? A really good brush tip can kind of feel like a felt tip where it feels like it's all one piece. So, you know, I'm gonna have to get a Clean up on aisle nine there. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that worked great. It was not, you know, some liners can kind of spread a little bit and like bleed. This one did not do that at all. But I do feel like with liquid liners, it's always a time will tell thing. Like how does it perform in three weeks? Cause some of them will dry out weirdly fast. You're like, well, that was a waste of money. So I don't wanna give my like full thoughts on this yet, but so far I have really enjoyed the way it looked today and it was super easy to apply. Definitely felt like one of the better liquid liners I've tried, which is exciting. So fingers are crossed, it continues to be really good. Um, I'm just gonna kind of leave that. I don't even know if you can see it, the little extra dot. I'll clean it up later because I don't have it down here with me and it's just not that deep. So let me throw on mascara and then, oh, we're gonna be cruising through the rest of the stuff. And some of these cheek and lip products I got are the things I'm the most excited about. Um, so I'm just throwing on the, <laughs> someone drives by and like looks in the window. Yes. <laughs> I'm using the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara which I do love. I still like the Tower 28 one better, but I really like this mascara too. This is a fresh tube as of a week or two ago. I mean, that is no joke, that builds up fast. I haven't done like thick liner on top in a minute, it feels like. And I do like the way it can look. Like I just think it can look so pretty and like doe-eyed, but it just takes that extra bit of time that I just don't always have, but I'm like, oh, I really like that. So still loving this mascara, as I said, and that liner is looking very nice. So shall we get to the juicy stuff? Cheek products. Oh wait, let me throw on bronzer. Sorry, I feel like all of the steps I don't have were right in a row. <laughs> this is the NARS um, Laguna Cream Bronzer. It's my favorite and I just hit pan on it. If you ask me the last time I hit pan on a bronzer, I couldn't even tell you. That is how much I love this one. I, there are so many others I like. This is, the number one one though. Like there's so many, they're close, but this is the one. And I feel like for me, part of it too is a shade thing. Like this shade happens to be just perfect. I can almost be sloppy with it and it, mm, so good. Mm, and I love the way it smells too. All right, for real now, cheek products. So I have two, we're gonna try both. So first off, I got the Sephora Colorful Blush. This is one of their matte blushes in the shade So Shy. I've not tried any of these 
And this shade looked like one of those that based on my skin tone, I could go ham with it and it would look, hopefully look really nice. So we're gonna try that. But first I wanna try this one. This is the one I'm the most excited about. It's the Say Dew Blush, Liquid Cheek Flush in the shade Peachy. I've seen these all over the place and I've just never tried them. They've been around a while. I just hadn't tried them. So I was thinking it was a squeezy tube. So it's a little doe foot, well, big doe foot. It's such a pretty color. I wanna feel, I think I might need to be careful. I, y'all, I decluttered my brushes. I don't have a stippling brush. How did I manage to get rid of all of those. I don't I don't think I meant to, so I need to get one. I'll probably just get one from like e.l.f. because I felt like those are pretty good. Or Real Techniques, I feel like makes good ones. Anyway, so <laughs> what will I do here? Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. So I am just gonna use, I think, my finger. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on there. Okay, the finish of this is so pretty. Do you see that? So this blended in way easier. I was really nervous it would be like, you know how sometimes like blushes can either be super emollient like cream lushes that is, or they can be kind of like a cream to powder so they're harder to work with unless you're using a brush. So you have to work fast, but this was neither of those things. That, oh man, this is totally up my alley. I can't believe I waited this long to try this. I love this shade, oh my gosh. And I feel like there's no like detectable line where like one thing ended and another began. Like I feel like it's blending in easily. That might've been too much. Oh yeah, I feel like the super blush look is in, but I might need to blend that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so am a fan. That looks so pretty. Again, especially if you like the more dewy look, because I've mentioned recently a lot, but I really haven't been using highlighter as much because I've just been kind of depending on the natural glow and stuff of everything else I'm using. And I feel like that just looks so pretty. I'll still use highlighter from time to time, please. I still, but. I don't know. It's just not been something I've reached for as much. All right, now, see, I don't want to top this with it, but I am kind of curious. Let's go ahead and toss a little bit of this on top just to see how it looks. I was trying to swatch it and it really, I mean, it swatches okay, but it's just a really light color, so it's harder to see, which is kind of what I'd had in mind. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I'll have to just mess with this a little bit more and see, but I mean, it looks nice, but it's hard to tell where this starts and the other blush begins, you know, but. It, it looks nice. I'll let you know, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, lip product. I am so excited to try this right here. This is the Ami Cole, if I'm saying it right, lip treatment oil in the shade Bliss. I've heard little bits of buzz about this brand, so I've been curious. I have another product we're gonna try from this brand too. Ooh, -hoo. okay. Ooh, yes, that is some juice. Okay, and it's definitely a my lips but better shade. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Do you like even see any lines in my lips anymore? Because I have very lined lips and that just like whoa, erase them and it's not tingly or anything. So I feel like a lot of plumping lip products would, like we were talking about earlier are great because they can make your lips look less lined but there's always the chance of irritation or if you just don't like that feeling, this is giving that look without that feeling at all but it is definitely thicker. So if you don't like a thicker, Lip oil, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty though. If you don't like thicker lip oil, this would not be the one for you, but oh my gosh. And it just feels good, like it, it feels good on the lips. So the other product from this brand is the Ami Cole Skin Melt Loose Powder. I don't often buy loose powder, so I'm really taking a gamble. Also, the packaging for all these is so cute. How fun, made in Italy. So yeah, it's translucent. Oh yes, 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 yes. So it has that packaging where a lot of them are going to this and I am so thankful where there's like this mesh little area here. So you're not just, every time you're opening it, powder's not just flying everywhere. Oops, geez, oops. Except for that first time you open it, of course. So yeah, there's the little mesh part. I'm showing you guys, I know like 95% of you guys have seen this kind of packaging a million times, but it's for the 5% of you that haven't, okay? So we're gonna start by setting my under eyes. So I'm just gonna get some, some I said on here and we'll just kind of see what this looks like on here. I think it looks nice so far. I'm always looking for, does it kind of flatten that area out and look make it look a little more even? Obviously it's gonna soak up oil, like any powder like this is gonna do that for you, but um, I wanna know, you know, does it do more? Does it kind of, I think it looks really nice. Let's use it just to kind of set this area here. 
realize what I need to do with pressed powder is to use a more pointed brush like I do for my under eye because when I just splash it all around my face, it ends up getting in areas I really don't want it. You know what I mean? My chin can always use it. Hey Tyler. Since Tyler and I are both like working from home, we're trying to be creative about where we work. And so he's been working in the basement today and like I've gone to a coffee shop, then we'll, cause if we're both in the office upstairs at the same time, it can be a lot. Um, cause one of us is always on a call or like I'm listening to a video. And so then he's like, well, I'll wear headphones. You don't, and it, sometimes it's just easier to just spread out throughout the day. So what do you guys think? I feel like that looks really nice. I think the key is for just for me with loose powder in general to do it that way, but I definitely feel that it's translucent. So I don't feel that this looked super white or anything weird. And I feel like my skin still looks like skin. So just saying, maybe give a new brand a try because so far so good. So some other just kind of fun products that I got. First off, I needed a new pencil sharpener. This is just the Sephora branded one. We're gonna give it a try because you know I love the Sephora 12 hour liner and I felt that I was sharpening it in my NARS sharpener and I felt like it was just screwing up the pencil. So I thought, okay, if I get the Sephora branded one with the Sephora branded liner, <laughs> Best laid plans, I needed a new one, so there we go. Here's something I'm highly intrigued by. It's the Jisoo Honey Infused Hair Perfume. We're gonna be the judge of this. I was trying to smell it earlier and I really couldn't get a read, so I'm gonna spray it actually in my hair. For Okay, first of all, can we look at this gorgeous packaging, right? I mean, come on. Tyler, come smell this, hold on. It's a hair perfume. Here, come smell. Ooh, yeah, it smells like perfume. Well, but does it smell good? It smells good. What makes it hair perfume? I think it, my guess is it like doesn't have the alcohols that other ones do, so it's safer for hair. I don't know, I bet one of you guys can fill us in. What makes what makes the difference? I'll, I'll probably look it up. I mean, it smells good. It makes my hair, my hair is actually quite clean. <laughs> Humble brag that I washed my hair. <laughs> I mean, like I literally washed it last night. I feel like it smells, it doesn't smell like honey like I was really picturing, and it's not too sweet. It kind of just makes your hair smell clean. And I think that's kind of nice. Like think about if you've dry shampooed your hair for like a day or two and you're like, ah, that's where I've, I've learned that I like to use hair perfume. So I'm excited to give this a whirl and get a better feel for the scent. So far I feel like it smells good. I just feel like it makes my hair smell clean, which is fine. It's fine. Anyway, okay, speaking of clean hair-ish, I bought this Crown Affair dry shampoo. This is genius. So I've tried every dry shampoo spray on the market. I like quite a few. But I definitely have thought a lot about like, well, I'm inhaling it like all of the time. And I, you know, there've been some things that came out that are like certain dry shampoos are recalled because of carcinogens, blah, blah, blah. Obviously that's not all of them. Okay, so just, we can all take a breath, take a step back. I still use dry, regular dry shampoo. My point is I just was intrigued by trying different versions of dry shampoo. So this one is one that comes as though it's makeup, right? but it comes with this brush. So the idea is that you get the dry shampoo on here and then you know you can lift up a layer of hair, get that on there, get more, lift up a layer. So it's not quite as airborne. So I'd been trying the Acure dry shampoo. It kind of looks like um, baby powder, like in that kind of a thing, but it's not baby powder. Um, and so I, I've tried to put it in my hair and then too much would get on there and then I try to do it in my hands, but then it'd still be everywhere. So this kind of seems like the best of both worlds and so, I'm gonna give it a whirl and let you guys know in, I'll probably talk about it in a future vlog, but um, of course in a future speed reviews video too. So I just was excited about the idea of it. And then I also am on this Color Wow Kick. So I bought their Style on Steroids Texture and Finishing Spray. I have one of their hairsprays and I like it okay. It's not a fave. I don't know that I'm gonna repurchase, but I liked the idea that this one gives that like grit and texture to your hair. Cause even today, like that's what I needed to keep this braid from doing exactly this, where like some of the layers start to come out. But if you have a little bit of grit in there, you can braid it and it all kind of holds on to each other. It's kind of like they, like the hairs hug each other. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this and you know what? Here, why don't we rebraid just part of this and I'll spray it with, if I can get this hair tie out. That's the downside of these tiny hair ties. You have to like, I usually just break it to get it out. No, we're good, we can still use it. Okay, I'm gonna kind of unbraid part of it just to like here. Let me just spray these three babies. 
speaking of airborne, now I got to figure out what was the pattern. Okay, there we go. It's hard to tell right now because I just sprayed it and even when I first just, yeah, but it does feel like a little, it's got a little bit of grit to it. Certainly not as gritty as um, other texture sprays I've used, which I find is interesting. But again, I'll kind of mess with it. I just feel like texture spray is one of those secret weapon hair products that if you know, you know, and the magic of texture spray can really make like, even when I do just like a ballet bun on top of my head, texture spray makes all the difference to kind of make it so that the bun's not so tiny. It gives it just that little bit of like volume, even with a messy bun, like it's just one of those secrets. So we'll see, time will tell. Tyler trying to sneak around so he's not like heard in the video. So that's everything. Oh, oh, I promised I would tell you the other things that I ordered. So I was totally inspired by Jamie Page and <laughs> hence this order was literally placed like at 11 p.m. on the last <laughs> day of the sale. But I was wanting to try a new shampoo and conditioner and I really needed a new like in hair leave-in conditioner, if you will. I went with what she had just bought and she was already liking. So I bought the Virtue Hydrating Recovery Shampoo and Conditioner. So it's for dry, damaged, and colored hair. I'm trying to be better about now that I do have some color in my hair, making sure that I'm using things that are like color safe, if you will. Um, and actually now that I'm saying it, I guess it's not technically color she's put in my hair, it's color she's taken out. How's that work? See, so yeah, this is such a new world to me. I feel like I don't fully understand it. E either way, I figure, well, color safe is probably a good idea regardless. My point is, Jamie seemed to really, really like these. These are pricey. So I was definitely glad to get the 20% off of these, but figure I'll give it a whirl. And then I also got the Virtue Hydrating and Heat Protectant Healing Hair Oil. So I've been using the one I shared in my nighttime routine where I share my skincare routine and all that, I'll link that video. The product I've been using in that, I just kind of feel wishy-washy and I feel like it's just not been doing what I need it to do. So I was excited to, to try a new one. So we'll see, those of course are gonna literally be here tomorrow. One day shy of filming this, but that was everything. I hope that you enjoyed this Sephora haul, try on, just chatting about whatever I was on my mind, I guess. <laughs> and let me know what you think about this filming spot. I obviously switch it up almost in every single video. So I don't, at least as of right now, I'm not just sticking to one thing, but this is certainly, I liked it. Let me know your thoughts. If you did enjoy, if you're new to this channel, I would love if you subscribed and stay tuned. Maybe check out some of my other videos. I can link my Sephora favorites video, my recommendations, because obviously that was during the sale, but it's just generally my Sephora favorite. So it's a good one to watch if you're into this specific topic. And if you're into more drugstore priced things, I'll link my drugstore makeup playlist down below. I'm, I am hungry. So anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.